A man was found dead lying in the backyard of an abandoned home, and neighbors hope that will be the last straw before the city takes action. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt is live near Coors in Blue Water. Gabby? Dean, this is one of two homes on the block where neighbors say no one's lived here for at least seven years legally. But from what we saw today, that doesn't mean people are staying out. They all come in at night. It's scary. For those that live near these two abandoned homes near Coors in Blue Water, the boards on the windows, the signs unsafe to occupy aren't enough. I'm hoping that now that the worst has happened, that something will get done. Selena Chavez is referring to last night's homicide call out. A neighbor walking by found a man dead lying in the backyard of an abandoned property. It was just a matter of time. There's a lot of neighbors that have called and made complaints. Chavez says she and others have called the city over seven years about the crime ridden properties to no avail. They tell us that there's no way they can get in, but they're obviously getting in. We spotted beer bottles, blankets, clothes and food. They're not just homeless, they're drunks. They're, they're drug addicts. We deal with these properties all across the city. The city says it doesn't own the two homes. Essentially, our involvement is to ensure that the, that the structure remains uh, vacant and, and secure. City workers say to catch someone here illegally or to condemn the homes would require more calls from the neighborhood. Neighbors say these houses have been abandoned for so many years they've had to make their own modifications, like these chain link fences behind me, just to keep people out. What scares me is that if something happens to my family, honestly. 14-year-old Christian Gonzalez and his 8-year-old brother worry. They live next door to this house and see people come and go all the time. We found liquor bottles, beer boxes, clothes and trash in the same place the body was found. It's a magnet for crime. We don't want that around here. Now, according to city records, private owners are listed for both homes. For now, the city says it's best to keep calling 311 or police if you see anything illegal. Back to you. All right, Gabrielle, thank you. Police have not yet identified that man who died there or determined how he died.